Today we have another great tour with Andres. We are going to examine and discover how the humble cacao bean turns into everybody's favorite chocolate. Yum! Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. We are loving Medellin. We are on our way to the cacao farm up in the mountains. We are at the farm. It is approximately an hour and a quarter, an hour and a half drive from Medellin. With the pink, there? with the pink leaves, those are the cacao. Mm -hmm. Are they actually trees or bushes? They're they're bushes, yeah. This is Sandra. She's the daughter of the estate. These are the owners. He purchased the land and then developed this farm with primarily cacao, coffee, coffee, sugar cane, avocado. The dog fights with a rock. <laughs> okay. And he's always. So that's his rock. It's any random rock. Any rock will do. Beautiful up there. Morning chickens, are you going to be dinner or are you just for eggs? Both. We got bunny foo foo, little bunny foo foo, hopping through the forest. Andres is wearing a chocolate t shirt. He wants to start raising fish, tilapia, do a fish pond. You have to be very enterprising. So this is cacao. This is where your chocolate comes from. It's been living in this farm for 30 years. Um, he has in this farm um, 600 uh, cacao trees. The altitude to grow cacao, it should be from 800, uh, 700 meters to 1300 meters. You have calcium, you have nitrogen, and all these minerals that are found in most of the, of the parts of the soil they are found in different uh, quantities. So you also need the same season all year round. You cannot have climatic different conditions. He's opening up the uh, tree. To me it's a tree. They call it a bush. Okay. So it will get more sun. They always want the fruits to grow in the lower part, which is why he's lopping off the top branches of all those. From the time you plant the tree, it takes a year and a half to you can have the first Harvest, which is fast. That is very fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> interesting, interesting fact that all the cacao that's produced in Colombia is eaten in Colombia. A flower? It's, or? A, it's a kind of a flower that comes with a, looks like a seed at the beginning, like this. Mm -hmm. This is the seed. Really? And so you can, yep, so you can. And then it turns, do you know the it. name of it, Andres? The that, name of it is Haas, like Haas avocado, but it's not an avocado. God, those are... It's a very tiny little flower. It's going to take around a year and eight months to get here, to the harvest. This is ready to be harvested. There are different varieties of cacao, so that's why you see different colors, because they, some of them are different varieties. This one, for instance, is already ripe, even though it's green. In some of, like this one, when it's green, it's not ripe. <laughs> this one looks, looks ripe, but it's actually not ready. The whole thing, it, it gets one year and a half. You have to put the seed uh, like this, but inside the germinator, in this direction so you see that there's like a wider part and there's like a mm -hmm. narrow part so the narrow part goes inside you put it like this you have to dry it completely and uh, and then you put it like that and then it's gonna start growing for like around one year and in one year you're gonna have the first flower so they're all cacao but he's just growing the different varieties mm -hmm. to see which are more resistant to to a fungus that decimates them. Lunch prepared by the family is included in the cacao tour, and I'm waiting for Andres, so you could tell me what everything is. I mean, these are obviously beans. But the salad, plantain, rice, and this is the... Um, chicharron. Chicharron, uh huh? Ch chicharron. Chicharron. Which is pork. That's pork. Chicharron uh -huh. is primarily 
pork fat mm -hmm. that's fried crispy. It always makes me laugh because we are always cutting the fat off everything. Whereas in Colombia, it's the most popular food. And this is sugar cane with lemon. Real sweet. Is that wild or is that tame? I mean, he lives around. He's, uh, he flies around his houses. But, Hello, but it's a what? It's a what? It, what, what is it called? Ch it, charri. It looks sort of like a turkey, but it's not a turkey. And actually it flies. It can fly a lot. It fly that looks like my knee. <laughs> looks like my kneecaps. We are going to examine and discover how the humble cacao bean turns into everybody's favorite chocolate. I'm going to try to get that one off. Harder. I don't want to kill a tree. Ah, no, no eyes. worries. There we go. Yes, so. Bravo. Hey. <laughs> My first cacao pie. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Oh, they're Seems white. Uh-huh. And now try it. It's delicious. Limpiecito. Take some so, time and put it in your mouth. Comer. You take one, right? Uh-huh. Sí. Okay. Yep. And you it's eat delicious. it. It's delicious. It's very good. Uh, just suck it. Suck, just suck it. it. What do you do with the rest of it? Spit it out then? Spit it out, yeah. Spit it out. Alright, you just suck it. You don't chew it. it. It's very sweet. Steve is sucking it. And then you spit it out. So this is where your chocolate you comes from. So then you take your open slimy seeds. Do you just take the whole thing or do you break them up? You take the whole thing and put it inside the bucket. Okay. Inside here. It takes a week. One week's worth of fermentation. For, so is your hand slimy? A little, very that, slimy. That's the, the mucilage. And that, that mucilage is what you see Floating that all around there. Floating, exactly. All this liquid is actually not water. It's that mucilage. It's, it's like melting. And that's actually what we're looking just to get rid of that uh, melting um, or slimy membrane. After that, after a couple of days there, they're put into sacks and all the mucus drips out of the bottom for another couple of days. Uh -huh. And then we go, after one week's fermentation, Aha, uh -huh, the cacao we grows dry them. here to be dry. It all depends on the weather. It can mm -hmm. be somewhere from one day to three, four days. Wow, that is really hot in this greenhouse. Uh -huh. That's the rake. You keep moving it back and forth at all times to make sure it dries out evenly on all sides. These are just the dried cacao beans that you start to roast. You need to move them for around 30 minutes in the pot so they also roast evenly. We're going okay. Yep. So I do not want to burn the cacao seeds, that's for sure. Is to remove the husk because there's another husk. And it's here and we're actually gonna do it. Yep. Yep. So look, so you just remove it. It's like a peanut. It's right? like a peanut exactly. So one by one, eh, sorry, one by one, uh, doing it with your husk hand. Them. You need to dehusk him or... Okay. Uh, yep, yep. But you don't want the shell to come in there. Yep. Yep. It, they husk easy. Uh-huh. They dehusk. Here's my dehusk little cacao bean. Uh -huh. Put it in your mouth. That's that's 100% chocolate pure. You bite into it or yeah, do you... Yeah, just put it in your mouth and you can eat it. You can swallow it. I chewed it and it had a slight bit of chocolate flavor, but not as intense Right now, as I really expected, but now it smells like chocolate. But we're not done. It has to be ground three times before it melts. And with each grinding, it's harder and harder. They change the tension. And now it really smells like chocolate. It's good for my biceps. Uh-huh. I gave my place to Steve. Show some muscle. 
The friction makes it hot, and then eventually it's going to melt. That is sugar cane. It's put in before the chocolate melts, so they blend together. But we don't know how much is the... It's one kilo of chocolate right now. But Is this their sugar cane? That's sugar cane. Yes. Uh -huh. That's but their theirs, sugar cane, yeah. But they grow. You see when it comes out, it's starting to drip, so a drip. They're just doing this basically for the tour and demonstration. What they do is after they dry the beans, they sell them in another town. It's easier to buy it pre-made. They put it in the refrigerator and they're Hard as a rock again, and then we're gonna flip them out of the mold, and you just push them out, and there we have chocolate candy. And now you know if you want to go through this very labor-intensive process, you can make your own chocolate. That'll be the day. Uh huh.